topic was depreciation. So what do you mean by depreciation? So depreciation is nothing but a gradual decrease in the value of fixed assets. So first of all, why we need to depreciate an asset? What are the reasons to be depreciated? So if a business concern means why they are providing depreciation for each and every fixed assets. What is the necessary and what is the need to provide the same? First of all, say for an example, if you are using a bike or car or any uh, mobile assets. So that assets that you are purchased on this year, 2021. So after 5 years, exactly after 5 years, you are going to sell the same asset. Did the same asset have the same value after 5 years? Definitely no. Because you are using the same asset for 5 years. You are using the car and you are using the particular uh, bike and whatever mobile assets that you are having. So after 5 years, definitely the asset has been, the value of the asset has been decreased. Okay. So for that, how much of that asset, particular asset that you have used in that particular 5 years? So for that, the measurement of to find out how much of asset and how much of uh, the value of asset that you are used for the five years. For that, the important thing that you need to provide the depreciation. So that is the main purpose that you are providing depreciation for the particular asset. So that is the main uh, objective to provide the depreciation for an asset. And then to know the true value of the particular fixed asset. So what do you mean by true value? So true value means, so if you have purchased the asset 10 years before and now we are going to sell the same asset. So if you are going to sell the same asset means, you can't be able to sell the same asset what you have purchased 10 years before. Definitely there will be a difference in there. So that difference and that difference is known as like uh, the book value of the asset and then the market value of the asset. So what do you mean book value of the asset? So book value of the asset means, after decrease the value, which means after depreciated, whatever the asset value is known as book value. It's not the purchase value. Okay, purchase value is different. And then the book value is also different. And then the sale, the market value is also different. So first of all, you have to know about how much of asset that you have purchased in which year and how much years that you are used in that uh, usage of the particular asset and then on which year you are selling the same asset. So these are all the, uh, the things that you have to know. So uh, for current asset, you can't be able to measure any kind of this gradual because current assets already I told you, stock, data and then uh, cash. So these are all we can easily measure and it will be circulating in nature. But if you take a building and if you take a machine or if you take any mobile asset, you can't be able to measure. So by way of it, what way you can able to measure means there are the way. First of all, uh, what about the usage of the asset? How much, uh, uh, in which year it has been purchased? And then, uh, how much years it has been used? So without any, the use, by usage of the time, some asset has been depreciated. Okay, say for example, if you have purchased an asset in 2011, now 2021, there are about 10 years that your particular asset has been used. So definitely year by year, the asset has been depreciated because you are using. Okay, so if you use any product, definitely the value of the product or the amount of the particular value of the asset has been depreciated because you are using. So you benefited something, so definitely it will lose something, right? So that loop, that loss has been, uh, every year it has been measured. So every month or every year, depends upon the asset, it has been measured. So for that, so that decreasing the value is known as, you can say it is a depreciation. So is it necessary to depreciate an asset? Yes, definitely it is necessary. Because if you are not providing any asset, uh, any providing any uh, depreciation for an asset, it is it, your balance sheet shows a false business position. Okay, and it shows the false business, sorry, false uh, asset position, false fixed asset position. So if you want to know the true value of the particular fixed asset means, definitely depreciation should be provided. So, in what way you can able to, you know, what are the reasons an asset has been depreciated? First of all, we can say year and tier. Year and tier means by usage of the time. So, five years before that you are using, uh, you purchased an asset means. So, five years that you are using, after five years, definitely it has been, comes to an end, which means depends upon the asset. If your asset, uh, if you are using the asset,
by daily nature means. Uh, depends upon the, you know, the usage of the time, depends upon the repairs and maintenance, more maintenance and repairs. Definitely the acid has been comes to an end very, very short. Okay, so by usage of the time, the acid has been deposited. This is the first reason an acid has been deposited. And number two, the absolute of the particular acid. Because, you know, uh, in some of the acid has been, the value of the particular acid will be, uh, comes down once it has been uh, anything, you know, like, we can say, the lack of performance, right? So, in that case, a particular acid has been depreciated. And then, uh, updates of the technology, if there is a, if, if any asset comes to, you know, if you are uh, familiar with any new asset, definitely the old asset has been comes to an end. So, there will be no uh, uh, benefit to keep the old asset. So, you have to replace the old asset by the new one. Okay, so, uh, the updates of the technology, what you are having the asset, right? Like the machine who is, uh, which it was comes as a, a new technology, definitely the old one has been, you know, outdated. So, updates and, and updated technology oriented machine and the asset has been always replaced. Okay, replaced to the old one. Okay, so that old one has been deposited. It has comes to an end. And then the rights. Uh, some of the asset like uh, the, the time will be the lapse of time. Lapse of time means, you know, uh, like uh, patents, copyrights. So, these are all the kind of assets having an expiry date. So, every asset, some of the asset has been expiry date. Once the expiry date has comes to an end, definitely that particular asset has been, has to be replaced or has to be uh, recharged. Okay. So, recharged by money or recharged by in any other manner. Okay. So, by lapse of time or by you can say expiry date of a particular asset, it has been deposited, like patents, copyrights. So, this kind of uh, this kind of asset has been deposited in that way. Okay. And if you take the another one, another reason, like uh, natural resources, like oil, uh, coal and mining. So, this kind of industries, so this kind of, you know, oil manufacturing and then coal manufacturing industries. So, that asset has been, we can say, it is also represented. By way of, uh, you know, uh, that particular asset has been uh, manufactured to produce another asset, isn't it? Because that asset has been the raw materials for, to manufacture some other assets. So, that asset has been deposited, we can say, as it is a depletion of asset. Okay. Depletion means, is one kind of, the another name of the depreciation, only used for the natural resources, oil, mining, coal, and such kind of assets, we can uh, term as, Depletion, depletion of assets. So these are all the reasons we are in here. Absolute uh, lapse of time and then expiry date and uh, outdation of the old one. Okay, and then depletion of asset, which means the asset has been caused by, I know, uh, the natural resources asset has been depreciated in that way. Okay, so if you are digging in there to take the oil means definitely it will be some, you know, there will be an end point for uh, that particular asset. Okay, so if there is no asset, if there is no material means, it is no. Okay, so in that case, these are the main reasons and assets and fixed asset has been depreciated. So these are the, the reasons. How to show the depreciation in the balance sheet? How to calculate the balance sheet? How to calculate the depreciation for a fixed assets? So uh, in balance sheet or in profit and loss account, any kind of profit and loss account or any kind of data, so they have given the, the value of the particular fixed asset, which means the purchase value or the current year value they have given. And they will say as the depreciation of 25 percentage, 30 percentage. So here we have to know about the various types of depreciation of the commonly used straight line method and then uh, diminishing return down value method or we can say diminishing value method. Here one of the points that I would say is that uh, if you provide a depreciation for a fixed asset means, it will not affect the book value, it will not affect the market value of the asset. It only reduces the book value of the asset. It will not affect the market value of the asset because market value is different, book value is different. So the difference is known as profit or sale of fixed asset. Okay. So this is the main point that uh, you have to know about. Uh, either it is uh, affect the market value or not. Okay, so coming to the, the same point, uh, there are many types of depreciations of that, but commonly used straight line method and then return on value method. 
So what do you mean by straight line method? Straight line method of providing the purchase remains. If you have purchased the asset in 2011 and in 2021 that you, you are going to have, uh, sell the uh, same asset means for the entire 10 years the depreciation amount, the decreasing value of the particular asset will not be changed. Okay, it will be consistently the same for all the 10 years. There will be no changes. If you are providing 10% of the particular asset means that 10% is for the entire 10 years until when, uh, when the asset has been sold out. Okay, so for the 10 years, for the entire period of the lifetime of the particular asset or uh, on which day or on which year that you are going to sell that particular asset until the depreciation value won't be changed. So this is known as straight line method, straight line method depreciation. So in which asset has been uh, best example for profiling that means like uh, land or building, some other, some other asset which is a standing nature. Okay, but it will not be uh, suitable for the running nature of business, which means like uh, movable assets, uh, car, bike, or machine. So such kind of assets we can't able to measure this, uh, we can't able to correlate this kind of assets, this kind of uh, providing depreciation. Okay, and number two is uh, diminishing value method, which means return down value method. So return down value method of depreciation means is simply uh, the same example you will take. If you are purchasing the asset in 2011, every year the asset has been depreciated from the return down value, value. Return down value, what the value has comes to the next year, the balance. Okay, so every year that you are depreciating like 10% uh, they are going to 20 percent so the balance value has been carried to the next year. From that carried value, only you have to calculate the depreciation for the next year depreciation. 